Hey everyone, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run and today I'll be showing you how to make cream cheese sugar cookies. These cream cheese sugar cookies are one of my favorite sugar cookies. They yield nice, thick, soft, flavorful cookies that we're going to be topping with a simple cream cheese frosting. There is no chilling required for today's recipe, which is another plus, so let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you are going to need six ounces of cream cheese and one half cup or one stick of unsalted butter. Now you want both of these to be softened to room temperature. I'll usually set mine out in the morning and then a couple hours later I'll start baking with them. I'm going to add these to the bowl of a stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a large bowl and an electric hand mixer instead. We'll also add one cup of granulated sugar and use your mixer to cream everything together until these ingredients are nicely combined. With our butter, cream cheese, and sugar nicely combined, now we are going to add one large egg and two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and we'll stir everything together again until nicely combined. And if needed, you will want to stop and just use your spatula to scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl. We'll continue to stir everything together until this batter is smooth. This batter is looking pretty good at this point, so now you are going to need a separate bowl with three cups of all-purpose flour. Add a teaspoon of cornstarch, three-fourths teaspoon of baking powder, and three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and just stir everything together until these are completely combined. Now turn your mixer to low speed, and we're going to gradually add this flour mixture until everything is completely combined. This dough is a little stiff, so you'll probably need to pause again and use your spatula to scrape the sides and bottom. That way, all of that flour mixture gets well incorporated into the dough. So at this point, our dough is ready to roll out. Now, I like to work with just about half of the dough at a time. It just makes things a little easier to manage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to a clean surface, and I'm just going to lightly dust this surface with a little bit of flour and I'm going to pour half of this dough onto our surface. Now you'll want to use your hands to just kind of work this dough. If it's a little sticky, just add more flour as needed. You can lightly dust the dough. It'll be really easy to work in. And just keep doing this until it is nicely combined and the dough is smooth. Now you'll want to use a rolling pin and just roll this dough until it is just under a half inch thick. Now I like my cream cheese sugar cookies to be nice and thick. If you want yours thinner, you can certainly make them thinner instead. I just really like the texture that the thick cookie roll provides. Now you'll want to grab your favorite cookie cutter and just cut out as many shapes as you can from the dough. And we'll transfer these cookies to a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. They're not really going to spread in the oven, so you can space them pretty close together, but I would recommend giving them at least an inch apart. You'll want to take any scraps of dough you have and just regroup them, form them into a ball again, and roll them out so you get as many cookies as possible out of this dough. Now, of course, you'll want to repeat this process with the second half of your cookie dough until you've gotten as many cookies as possible out of your cream cheese sugar cookie dough. Once you've filled up your cookie sheets, they are ready to bake. We're going to transfer these to our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, where we will bake them for about eight to 10 minutes. Now, if you used smaller cookie cutters, you're going to need less time. If you use larger cookie cutters, you'll need more time. So just keep that in mind. So while those cookies are cooling, we can prepare our cream cheese frosting. I am going to use my stand mixer again for this. Of course, if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a large bowl and an electric can mixer instead. You are going to need six ounces of softened cream cheese. And once again, this is the brick style cream cheese, not the spreadable kind that you buy in a tub. And you are also going to need six tablespoons of salted butter. You also want this to be softened to room temperature. We'll add these into our bowl. And we'll also add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we'll use our mixer to cream these together until they are smooth and well combined. We will add two and a fourth cups of powdered sugar. Now add this gradually with your mixer on low speed, otherwise you're going to end up with powdered sugar everywhere. I just like to do a few spoonfuls at a time. Now 
Now at this point, I'm also going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch. This is going to help that frosting to crust a little bit, make it a little bit firmer and less messy after the cookies have had some time to sit. Now, the same thing could be accomplished by adding more powdered sugar. However, it would make the frosting really, really sweet. I really want you to be able to taste that cream cheese that's in there. So cornstarch is a great substitute. It's going to give us the same result, but without adding that extra sweetener. And of course, as always, you'll want to scrape the sides and bottom of this bowl. You don't want there to be any lumps in here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring to my frosting. This is totally optional. As you can see in my photos, I didn't even use food coloring then. But if you want to add food coloring, I would add it at this point. I'm just going to add a drop or two. So this is looking pretty good. Obviously you can stir yours together a lot better than I did. I kind of like that swirl, almost ombre effect. So that's all I'm stirring mine for now. Now I'm just gonna transfer this to a piping bag. You don't have to do this. You can just spread the frosting directly on the cookies. Instead, I just like using the piping bag. It makes it look a little bit neater. As you can see, I didn't even use a tip in here or anything. I'm just going to snip off the bottom. Now the same thing can be achieved if you would rather use a Ziploc bag, that would be fine as well. So now let's take our frosting over to our completely cooled cookies. And we'll pipe our frosting on these cookies. And I'll top this off with just a few sprinkles. And that is how you make cream cheese sugar cookies. I think you guys are going to love this one. It's got a thick, cream cheesy, well-flavored base and a wonderful cream cheese frosting. If you guys try this one out, please let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm. Hey, if you guys enjoyed watching today's video, I really would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed this cream cheese sugar cookie recipe, here are a few others you might like as well.